All right, welcome to the Easy Protractor here, and I'm gonna go ahead and get started. I'm not gonna bore you. It looks kind of uh, like a circle and a, and a cross. Uh, doesn't look anything special, and I'm gonna show you certain things you can do with it. And uh, if we open this up here, uh, the circle has got everything's got a purpose for it. Uh, there's 36 points on here, and the radius of a circle is 360 degrees so each point will snap in increments of 10 and you don't got to know any good math to understand any of this and everything's positioned um, directly in the center uh, everything's there for a reason and I've got some adjustments to everything I've do, um, done and we got this one here it's the one fourth uh, we got some hot spots where we can connect to on the one force where all these points are at everything's aligned perfectly and we got the cross here for the reference here all right like I said don't run away yet it's gonna get better I'm gonna show you some things you can do and uh, we got this one here it's got some uh, circles in it and they're spaced evenly apart uh, if you look down here in the size here, you can see how it goes to 50, 40. Everything's got a purpose, all right? We'll get into that later. All right, when you get this, and I'm going to offer a download for this, and there's going to be, uh, well, I ever had this loaded, so I'll load it again. Um, all you need to do is go in and find the, go to the PNG, and go to the Protractor 1 PNG, and I'll have to double check that and there's this protractor right here image all right it's going to be a little indicator or if i don't like that one we can go to the uh number two all right let's say i like this one here all right i'm going to go over a few things so uh then we'll get in a little bit of fun here in a little bit all right uh it does matter what way you select these in order uh i can i'm going to select this one here and in here in a minute I'm going to ask you to look over here somewhere on the right here and this will make a little bit of sense to you so I'm going to hold the shift key and snap to the center here then I'll select somewhere out here approximately right here now if you look over here to the right as I go up and down um, maybe I wanted to snap an increment so if I get close to this circle here and I don't have to be on it um, watch when I Hold the shift key go to the first one it's number it's 10 uh, let's turn off the snapping I'll make sure my snapping's off all right so it'll go to 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 and 90 all right now we can turn this on here to snap to half edges which would go 5 10 15 20 so if we go to the first one that's 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 and 45 now these uh, this will help you kind of uh, give you a, uh, some good snapping to a certain degree I mean if uh, you want to do some certain things that you need a 45 degree in and we can open up this palette here we got this uh, this one fourth and this these are 45 degree angles also so just letting you know that all right the next part is uh, let's see what else we got here we'll go ahead and uh, we'll activate this one here let's go to this one right here I'll select over here hold the shift key and snap to the other side and when I bring it up I'll hold the shift key in the middle then it'll snap or name it's down if you know if you want it like that If you have a straight line, let's say I wanted to go to, say here, shift click in the middle, and let's say I wanted to do a 45 here, okay? All right, we notice when we do try moving this, and if we didn't have this little tool here, and I tried moving it, it's going to get longer or shorter. So if I hold the shift key, it'll snap along that and stay the same length. Now there are certain things that we can do to move this if, just in case that uh, we didn't have this here. I mean, 
if we was to select this point down here and try to turn it, it's just gonna, it's not gonna do nothing. It's gonna try turning that point. So what we'll do is we'll select an edge, then we'll right click real fast and set pivot on the shift key and snap here. And you can see we can still move it without adjusting the uh, length of it. And the same way with this one here. Alright, I paused the video and I loaded this uh, crown molding here. Uh, these are profile shapes here and I'm going to select one here and I'm going to go ahead and edit copy. Let's close this up and hide this here. And then we'll go to edit paste this one here. Since I'm not going to use the crown no more, I'll just go ahead and uh, just go ahead and delete that. And if you want to uh, try some of these uh, profile shapes of crown molding, I got all kinds of molding. I do offer them on my website for free and I got a sample package and there's one that uh, I got some that are the full package which uh, comes with some of the videos that through donation so I'll just go ahead and bring this down here use the control key and drag up and it produced a backed up curve so we'll just delete that all right we're gonna go ahead and select this uh, piece of molding here and then we're going to go ahead I got some custom this custom palette ready here and then I will just go ahead and close the holes on this all right now let's say that I was a carpenter and I was wanting to cut this I don't know. And a cut a uh, carpenter cuts stuff uh, hold the shift key to snap here um, he uses uh, usually the 45 degree angle to make like you know uh, door frames or picture frames so just keep that in mind I'm gonna be doing a 45 alright what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab this little triangle hold the shift key and snap in the middle that way I'll put it in the middle right here okay very simple and I'll just bring it up out of the way for right now and I want to cut a 45 degree in the board so I can use the polyline here and we need to make sure that at the edge on half is on because if it wasn't, I would only be able to snap to every point, and all my points are at 10, and if I leave it at every half, I can go 5, 10, 15, 20, as I showed you earlier. So we'll select here, and I want to cut to the right side of the board, so I'll hold the shift key and snap here, and I'm going to go, as you can see, here's the 40 and 50 here, I'm going to go in between it, and there's going to be one, then I'm going to do that again, I'm going to shift key, snap here, 45 on this side, all right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, bring this board down. I'm going to just cut one half. It doesn't matter where it's at. I'm, you know, as long as I'm keeping it in the center, that's fine. I can shift it to the left, shift it to the right. But uh, I need to keep it in the area that I'm going to be cutting, and that's going to be the line. I don't want to have it back like that. I'm going to have the board past the line here a little bit. All right, with the board selected, I'm going to open up and cut it and do a little saw mark here. Yes, hexagon can solve. No, just open. All right, then we're going to use the boolean operation and select the line. All right, validate that. All right, now we're going to go ahead and select the other side here. We're going to cut that somewhere. It doesn't matter. I'll actually, I could probably put it right here if I wanted to. Don't have to be precise. And we're going to do the same thing. Boolean operation and cut it with the line here and sometimes that you might need to cycle through here to get the right one I got to cut on each side now so now I need to piece this together so what I'll do is before I do that I'll make sure I close all the holes on here all right that kept all the ends up this is what I wanted and I'll go ahead and get a copy of these control C control V and we'll tip this down here the shift key and if I bring this down here you can see how this is lining up this is perfect this is the 40 this is what you call a 45 degree angle this is when you match two pieces of wood together and instead of me eyeballing this I'm just gonna go ahead and make it a little bit easier on it make sure it's gonna be perfect I'm gonna use lay on tool and I'm gonna select the face here and I'm gonna select the face here 
And that's going to line them up perfectly. And I'll go ahead and control V that since I already had another copy and hold the shift key when I'm turning this. And we'll repeat that for this side here. Select here and here. And we'll do one more. Control V. Bring that down. We'll spin this around here. And use the land. Select here. And select. I'll zoom in so you can see a little bit of the video land here. And that's a way that you can uh, cut some trim up. Uh, you can get different degrees. Um, if you was making a roof or something and uh, you're not subjected to just using line tools or just booling, you can uh, do all kinds of stuff with this. I did pause the video and I'm going to uh, make a roof here. I'm going to turn off the uh, half edge snapping here and I need to find out what pitch I want to make on this roof. Um, let's say I'm going to make a 30 degree pitch. Um, we're going to go ahead and use polyline here and I'm going to go over here if I can eyeball it here but if I can count it like just hold the shift key and snap here and go 10, 20, 30. Sure I can eyeball it but I was kind of doing this in a video so I click here. Go over to the center and shift click and snap here. We'll go over here count down 10, 30 and we'll close it here now this is a 30 degree pitch on a roof and we'll hold the control key and we'll select this back like this and we'll go ahead and we'll close these holes up we'll hide this back up curve and we'll just bring this up just a little bit here now you can see it's a 30 degree pitch and it looks different because I did it from the bottom but actually if we scale this up as long as we're using this cube in the middle and we're going to bring this up and we're going to match the, the degree with this top one up here so what I need to do is I'm going to use a snap line here and I'm going to click this point remember this one right here and we're going to snap it here and we'll activate the face mode so we can see the transparency and I'll select the transparency down here now if I scale way in here, you can see it's at 30 degree. I'll hide it and show it. Alrighty. And we're going to go ahead and do the same for the other side. So I'll just go ahead and bring this over here. And we'll use a snap -a line again. We'll zoom into this area here. As you can see, we got 30 degrees. Both sides are the same. Oh, one last thing. I um, didn't know if I was mentioning it, but uh, you know, you see me do boolean operation. You see me use the line tool. You can use you can use just regular uh, 3D objects and move the points around to get degrees and all that stuff. And uh, a lot of stuff that I can't go over in the video because it takes too long. But there's a few things that you can do with this that I ain't mentioned. And you'll be able to find this on my website. Uh, in the video here, I don't have it on here right now, but it'll be, I'll have it somewhere listed on the free zone or post the link somewhere. And to find my site here, here's the uh, link right here. It's all case sensitive, so if you don't have the capitals in it where well, they're supposed to be, it won't work. But you can Google that. But anyway, I think this is going to wrap it up, and thank you very much.